So does that, does that work? Do I have to go here? Can I leave that? I don't know, it sounds weird. Okay. Right in here. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So if I hit... That, it changes to the cave. Hit that. Oops, right. Shift. Oh, I have to use right shift. Okay. I got it. You're part of a decision-making quorum of a hidden country. This quorum is made up of ten members, and you are the tenth. Quorum is... I can't think. <laughs> I need to turn that, turn that off. Okay. Quorum is invoked to make a yes no decision. For the quorum decision to be valid, at least one of the members must disagree. With the others. As you're the chance, your decision may therefore be constrained. Hmm. In this case, you'll add an exclamation point at the end of your decision. For example, there are nine. If there are nine yes before you, you must say no. In the event your decision is not constrained, you will side with the opinion of the majority. For example, if there are seven yes and two no, you must say yes. sure I get it. So at least one person has to say no, otherwise you go with the majority? What if it's even split and you're the deciding vote? Shortest mode? Oh. A character string votes containing the previous votes separated by space. Alright, well let's just print out the votes. See what we got. Oh, we're in JavaScript here. Okay. So let's print V. Let's get V. Change this to V. So what do we got? Yes is yes, yes is yes, yes is yes. Nine yeses. Your vote represents your decision. Yes, no, yes, or no. Oh. Wait, if there are nine before me, there can't be a tie. Okay. <laughs> Console log V. Okay, so we're gonna split those up, I guess. That split. Print those. Same thing. Okay. So, what do we do, count those? Just, okay. We're just gonna do that. And then we're gonna count. We're gonna go four, let i equal zero. i is less than b dot, b dot length. i plus plus. And then we want to see each individual one, so console.log v sub i. Now we get all those. Okay. So if... So we want to count the number of yeses, so the number of yeses equals zero. Let the number of no's equal zero. Whoops, we're not in Python here. So, number of yeses. Can you do plus plus in JavaScript? So then console.log and y. Number of yeses. So we get nine, we can do plus plus. Okay, so then go if v sub i equals no number of no's plus plus I'm not using semicolons should I use semicolons? okay console.log number of no's okay full yes so is it 9 and 0 so with a 9 and 0 
what we do is so then we go if ny equals nine we pretty much have one option we have to print no so console.log you just say no with an exclamation mark okay If an n equals nine, okay, we want to go console dot log. Yes. Okay. There we go. So then, otherwise, we want to go if n y. Wait, if it's nine, if it's that, okay. Uh. So is that or? Is it or? Oh no, it says. And then equals nine. How do you do or in JavaScript? <laughs> I forget. How do you do an or in JavaScript? Son of the bean dip. Chat GPT. Chat GPT. Two vertical bars. Didn't I do that? Oh, I did exclamation. So two vertical bars. Okay. Mark. There. So, so far does this work? Full yes, we give a no. Full no, we give a yes. Okay. One no. Oh, what does that mean? Okay. So, otherwise we're going to go else. Then we're going to go if ny is greater than nn. So, y is the majority. Then we're going to say console.log. Then we're going to go with the majority, but it's a soft go. Just going to say yes. And then otherwise, we're going to say console.log. We're going to go with soft no and say that. Does that work for all of them? Okay. Oh, size. I'm supposed to worry about size. <laughs> Oops. Well, maybe I'll win in the JavaScript category. I have no idea. Alright, is that long enough? Oh, I just want to test it. I don't know. I don't know. Can I hear it? I don't know. Can I? What's the delay? Delay, 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 delay. Oh boy, what did I get into? Okay, so that's cool. So can I switch to... There we go. I'm just doing like a background or something. That's crazy. This one? Okay. Alright, and what's this? Oh. Okay, what's this? Oh. What's this? Pick a voice character? Voice mod text to speech. Generate spoken audio from any text with the most advanced multiplex AI speech to write your text. What do you want the voice character to say? Say what? Add voice effects to your audio. Just say what? Ah. <laughs> okay. So if I do I have to minimize that, keep it going, I don't know. Because I don't need this whole thing. Well, it still stays here and it's active. Okay, voice changer on. Hear myself. Oh, cool, look at that. Select voice. Cave, pitch, clean the narrator. Okay. Hear myself. Oh. Hello. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Alright. Um, that was a cool test. I think we're just going to... Stop streaming. I don't actually want to stop. 
Okay. Right again. Where's house in the window? I want to take this voice changing to work. <laughs> You can determine the key with the digit using the is man function or regular expression. Here's how you can do it with both approaches. Okay. Uh, let me just take that. There we go. Using is man function checks the value is not about number since it courses the input to a number before forming, performing the check. Is man parse ant character and is man parse float character? Parse float? Parse ant. Oh, okay, we just want to know if it's a, uh... Is man ant test cases true, false, true? Okay. Using a regular current. Okay, so let's just go here. Parse ant the character. If not, is man... So I think this is all we want, right? That's a whole other thing. Okay. And then let's just... So then, take this, and then our character is S sub I. S sub I. And then take that out, and then go like this. So if it's not, not a number. It is a number. Okay. What are we supposed to do? So confused. Let's just print it. <laughs> See what we get when we do that. <coughs> Excuse me. Three, one, zero, eight, two. Oh, okay, so add them up. Uh, then we just want to add those up. So can we add... So we're going to set this equal to zero. We want the sum of all the digits, right? So a, a equals a plus. And do I have to cast it to an int? Or is it just first int? I don't remember. Like that? Yep, that works. Okay, so then we just want to... Put that at the bottom. Okay, that works. Very good. There you go. Okay, otherwise... 
Then we want to go B is that for empty string. Then we want to go B dot. to shorten this up, you could go C equals parse int S sub i. Okay. And then right here, instead of parse int S sub i, you can go C. And right here, A equals A plus C. Okay, take out this. So is there a way then to print those? How do you print a new line? Oops. Oh boy. It's got all kind of stuff going on. I just want to print a new line. Print a new line you just use to print a new line. Oh, slash in. So can I put that in there? So B plus slash N plus A. Can we do that? Okay. Take that out. And I think that's it. So that. Yes. Oh, it wasn't even the slowest. It was the, the shortest. It was the fastest. Okay, so whatever. I wasn't going to gain that much time in it, anyways. JavaScript. These regular expressions. Okay, I got you. I'm like you. Python. If I was digits are plus that, otherwise SS plus that, nice. I understood that one. I like that guy. Okay. Just a nickname crashing. Okay. Um, I think that's it. That's all I want to do. <laughs> Let's just. I think we're gonna stop streaming, and then I'll check the vod and I'll see what my voice sounds like. 